Hi everybody, it's your pharmacist Sunki here. Today we are going to talk about acetylopram. Sunki. Now disclaimer, this is not an advertisement. I'm not being paid by any drug company. It does not replace the need to see your doctor or discuss with your doctor if this medication is suitable for you. These are information that a pharmacist would give you in a pharmacy setting after you have been prescribed the medication by a qualified doctor. Do not self-prescribe at home. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button now and thumbs up. Without further ado, let's rock it. Acetylopram is commonly known for its brand name Lexapro or Cyprolex. There are many brands out there in the market. Choosing a generic brand may be cheaper for you and it works the same. Acetylopram is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, also known as SSRI, used to treat depression and generalized anxiety disorder. If you're interested in knowing more about how it works in your brain, I've made an animation illustration for you. This video is under the title Citrulline. I'll put the link down below for you. Citrulline is also another SSRI, so it works very similar to acetylopram. If you're being prescribed acetylopram, how do you take it? Follow the doctor's instructions carefully. The usual dose of acetylopram is 10 mg daily for adults. Your doctor may start you initially on a lower dose and increase the dose up to maximum 20 mg daily. If you have liver problems, the maximum recommended dose is 10 mg a day. Take acetylopram at roughly the same time each day. If it makes you sleepy, take it at night before you go to bed. If it makes you alert, take it in the morning. If you miss a dose, take the missed dose as soon as you remember. However, if it is almost a time for the next dose, skip the missed dose and continue your regular dosing schedule. Do not take double dose. If you overdose, call your doctor or call the poison helpline of your country immediately. Do not stop taking acetylopram or lower the dosage without checking with your doctor. Do not let yourself run out of the medication over the weekend or holidays. Continue to take acetylopram even if you feel well. If you suddenly stop the medication, you may experience withdrawal symptoms such as mood changes, irritability, agitation, dizziness, numbness, tingling or electric shock-like sensation in the hands or feet, anxiety, confusion, headache, tiredness, nausea, sweating, shaking and difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep. When your doctor and yourself decide that it is time to stop the medication, your doctor and pharmacist will guide you into slowly stopping the medication. Dependent on how long you have taken the medication for, it may take months to strategically slowly wind it off. Everyone is different in terms of the time frame, adjust accordingly. Like all medication, it comes with side effects. When a doctor decides to prescribe you the medication, he or she deems that the benefit outweighs the side effects. You can discuss with your doctor the benefit and the risk of taking acetylopram. Acetylopram can take one to six weeks before you notice its full effect. And before that, you may experience some side effects like dry mouth, nausea, stomach pain, changes in sex drive or ability, excessive sweating, increased appetite. Many people do not experience these side effects. If they do, it's usually really minor and it will go away in a few days. If the side effects is severe and do not go away, speak to your doctor. At the beginning, when you are first being prescribed this medication, your doctor will want to see you more frequently to monitor your progress. It's important to keep and turn up for all scheduled appointments. Note. Acetylopram may cause angle closure glaucoma, a condition where the fluid is suddenly blocked and unable to flow out of your eye, causing a quick, severe increase in the pressure of your eye, which may lead to loss of vision. Talk to your doctor about having an eye examination before you start to take this medication. If you have nausea, eye pain, changes in vision such as seeing colored rings around lights and swelling or redness in or around your eyes, call your doctor and get emergency medical treatment straight away. 
Tell your doctor immediately if you have thoughts of harming yourself or ending your life. In the event if your doctor cannot be reached, call the ambulance or go to the emergency department of the hospital. Tell your doctor immediately if you are hallucinating where you see things or hear voices that do not exist. Tell your doctor immediately if you have unusual excitement or a high temperature more than 38 degrees and above with agitation, confusion, trembling and twitching. Tell your doctor immediately if you have constant headaches, long-lasting confusion or weakness or frequent muscle cramps. These can be signs of low sodium levels in your blood. In severe cases of low sodium levels, this can lead to fits or seizures. Tell your doctor immediately if you have a higher tendency to bruises, vomiting blood or dark vomit, coughing up blood, blood in your pee, having black or red poo. These can be signs of bleeding from the gut. Tell your doctor immediately if you're bleeding from your gums or have bruises that appear without reason or that get bigger. Now call the ambulance or go to the emergency department of the hospital if you develop an anaphylactic allergic reaction. The symptoms are skin rashes that may include itchy, red, swollen, blistered or peeling skin, wheezing, tightness in the chest or throat, swelling of the mouth, face, lips, tongue or throat, having trouble breathing or talking, having severe dizziness or passing out. Go to the emergency department immediately if you have painful erection that lasts longer than 4 hours. This may happen even when you are not having sex. Go to the emergency department of the hospital if you have any bleeding that is very bad or can't stop, such as cuts or nose bleeds that don't stop within 10 minutes. Now the above are not the only side effects of the medication. I'll put a link down below so that you have more information about it. Your pharmacist will be giving you information in regards to this when you pick your medication up from the pharmacy. Now the side effects that are listed on this list doesn't mean that you are going to get it. Many people do not experience these side effects. You need to speak to your doctor to weigh out the risk and benefit of treating your condition. Notes of precautionary. Acetylopurine can interact with many other medications. Check with your pharmacist before taking any medication or supplements including those you bought without a script from your pharmacy, health food store or supermarket. Lastly, one very important thing to take note is antidepressant act as a crutch to help you overcome things a little easier. While you're on this medication, it's crucial that you work on self-help. Work towards changing the pattern of your thinking, changing the way you communicate with yourself so when you are off it, you are able to stand on your own. Listen to motivational speakers on topics of depression, how to better your life. Talk to your doctor about psychotherapy, go for counseling sessions, meditation and etc. Now I hope this video is of value to you. If you find value in this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below on self-help approaches that you have been using and it is deemed helpful. Let me know as well what other videos you would like me to make. Now that's all for me today. It's your pharmacist Sunki here with lots of love. See you around.